Google Pixel 8 and 8 Pro are finally here. What's new in this device? And how will the Google Pixel 8 Pro match up to our new iPhone 15 Pro Max and the recent Samsung S23 in terms of camera, display, battery life, and performance? Let's look into this bit by bit. Thanks to Google's previews, we already know exactly how the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro looks like. Both of them adopt the recognizable design language of their forerunners, complete with the camera bumps we've been accustomed to seeing on recent Pixel phones. The main characteristics they appear to have in common include rounded edges, glass finishes, and metal trims. The placement of the cameras on the back of both phones is the only other aspect of their designs that differs. Google's own generated photos make it very evident that the Pixel 8 Pro has a triple camera system while the Pixel 8 is only equipped with a dual camera setup. The Pixel 8 Pro also features an additional sensor beneath the LED flash. It appears to be a temperature sensor that might be used to track item temperatures. It's difficult to predict what uses it will have in reality, but it seems to be a Pixel 8 Pro only feature. Google Pixel 8 vs Pixel 8 Pro Cameras Casual photographers should be happy with the Pixel 8, but power users have good reason to choose the Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel 8 will have a 12MP ultra-wide camera as opposed to the Pixel 8 Pro's 48MP ultra-wide with improved autofocus, despite the fact that both devices have the same 50MP main camera. Additionally, the 48MP 5X telephoto camera on the Pixel 8 Pro has the extra advantage of allowing you to get closer to subjects without losing clarity and detail. Analyzing some of the photo and video functions, it appears that the Pixel 8 Pro provides professional controls. The series hasn't previously provided manual controls with the native camera app, so we assume that it will finally do so. This is a long overdue update that ought to gratify professionals who want to adjust camera parameters like shutter speed, ISO, and color temperature. The software-specific features that are only available on the Pixel 8 Pro instead, even cooler is a function called Audio Magic Eraser that can take annoying background noise out of video recordings, and let's not forget the night side video mode, which appears to be on smartphones for the first time in the Google Pixel 8 series. Google Pixel 8 vs Pixel 8 Pro Display The Pixel 8 Pro's anticipated larger 6.7-inch Super Actua display with up to a 120Hz refresh rate would draw you if you love larger displays. The Pixel 8 is anticipated to include a 6.2-inch Super Actua display with a refresh rate of up to 90Hz. Although there isn't much of a difference, the Pixel 8 Pro's faster refresh rate would appeal to serious gamers. Although these new Super Actua screens are said to increase their brightness, we anticipate that the resolutions will mostly stay the same as those of their predecessors. The Pixel 8 with a maximum brightness of 2000 nits and a maximum HDR brightness of 1400 nits, while the Pixel 8 Pro has a HDR brightness of 1600 nits and 2400 nits peak brightness, respectively. Google Pixel 8 vs Pixel 8 Pro Performance Unsurprisingly, Google's Tensor G3 chip, an improvement over the Tensor G2 from the previous year, is anticipated to power both phones. The Tensor G3 will be under more pressure to perform well. A huge Cortex-X3 core with a maximum clock speed of 3.0 GHz, for Cortex-A510 cores with a maximum clock speed of 2.15 GHz, and a new design with four Cortex-A510 cores with a maximum clock speed of 2.45 GHz are reportedly all part of the new design. To see how the Tensor G3 manages complicated tasks would be interesting. Pixel phones are known for being incredibly speedy at performing simple tasks like browsing the interface or opening your favorite apps. Due to the predicted power gains with the Tensor G3, this year's Pixel phones may also be able to record 8K video, which is still unusual among today's flagships. Google Pixel 8 vs Pixel 8 Pro – Battery Life and Charging Unfortunately, Google's Pixel phones have never had the stamina to rank among the top phones for battery life, so there is still room for improvement in this area. The Pixel 8 is thought to have the same battery capacity as the Pixel 7, so it's unlikely that either phone will have a larger battery. The Pixel 8 Pro has a larger battery than the Pixel 8, 
but according to speculations, it will only have a 4,950 mAh battery, which is down from the 5,000 mAh battery of the Pixel 7 Pro before it. This indicates that it will ultimately come down to two crucial factors, Tensor G3 CPUs and the power efficiency of their screens. It's feasible that battery life will be better than with their predecessors if Google manages to delicately balance them with the aid of power improvements provided by Android 14. It's also unlikely that their wired and wireless charging will undergo any significant adjustments. My name is Serge's Mike, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.